not ready to turn that damn PA off. If you're standing in this room, it means you love Philadelphia hardcore. If you're standing in this room, there is someone who's here with you that is the reason that you got to eventually walk into this. From the fucking very beginning. Why die, Neil, Love Hall, all them people 40 years ago when I was barely a kid and you motherfuckers weren't born, there were people representing Philadelphia hardcore. And then one day, Steve Bush and the neighborhoods found the Philadelphia hardcore. And we met up with Bad Luck 13 and shit ain't never been the same since. When punishment took the band on the road, it's because only Bad Luck 13 fucked with Philadelphia and uh, punishment. Robbie Red Cheeks and all them motherfuckers had no love for punishment. They told us don't wear Philadelphia shit. They didn't like that the neighborhood kids were taking over. It was Tri-State Crew, it was Bad Luck 13 who fucking ushered all of us into being Philadelphia. No matter what crew ran the city at the time, Bad Luck 13 has held down Philadelphia, kept the fucking standards high, and so many of you gun kids come in never really realizing the importance of this crazy band, because you see them with the masks and all the chaos, but it was those guys when we were 15 years old that were fighting the Nazis. It was those guys who kept everything going so we could have this today. Privately, I'm so happy to see so many of my friends, my family, their kids. And the thing I learned after doing all these shows and being a part of Hardcore this long, that if you're in this room and you're from Philly, you're part of this whole fucking family. And that you guys have to understand that. How many weddings, how many funerals have we all been to together? How many of our friends aren't here right now that we wish that God would fucking be here? This is a celebration. This is for love, this is for Philadelphia. Step it up.
That's that old version. This for all the kids who took the L to the shows. This is raised high. Also, it's a little fucked up. What's up with Jermaine? Come on. They're fucking twins. <laughs> Happy birthday to both of you beautiful motherfuckers. <laughs> with the return of Mr. Mike Make the Punishment, we got this shit on the demo. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. I know we legitimately haven't played it in like 20 years. So at least try to mosh to it, you young little assholes.
you a story because we got a few. We play club space. When our demo came out, there was fist fights the whole time. And somehow the people asked us to record it on a compilation. We show up, all else failed was done recording. Bad luck was about to do, I hate everybody, and we did the gang vocals. When that shit came out, the release show was at the TLA. It was all hardcore bands. And when Punishment started playing, I think the bouncers grabbed Dennis or somebody, and it was Philly Hardcore versus the TLA, and the TLA lost. The song from this compilation is called Force Red. This is for Adam Schmidt. The kid survived a heart attack. He survived crazy diseases. And he made it here in a fucking wheelchair. And he loves hardcore more than anyone. Much love to Adam. I know he loves this song. I know, I know, I know you're hearing Philly this, 
You're here in Philly that. Let it be known that Delco, that Lansdale, that South Jersey. Remember after the TLA, we really weren't allowed to play in Philadelphia. So uh, we had to play somewhere. And it was the Delco kids and the South Jersey kids and the Nanico kids who gave us shows while they were getting all over that whole TLA thing because they somehow blamed punishment. When we did the second record, we were trying to come up with some new shit. Timmy, who's the cousin of Eric from Kensington, came in at 16 and he put some bangers out. Him and Chris Ross, this is one of their babies. You motherfuckers know this? We got a couple left, wake it the fuck up. So, it's impossible to talk about punishment and not talk about people who ain't here no more. Sam, the man, the first drummer, he passed away. For Two Street Jonathan, Bushy, you know best. That was our bro. I didn't even know they had Irish people in Two Street until we met Jonathan and Doc. I thought the only Irish people were in Mayfair and Kensington. Ethan would come on and play in punishment. He would also pass away. There are so many people. Dude, this is too many, actually. And all you young kids here standing with your friends, be happy they're here in the room right now because they might always be here later. And every one of these shows count because this shit moves fast and people drop off. I was a young idiot writing some really goofy shit, and I read the prisoner lyrics and went, what the fuck does this even mean? 
This is old John. Take the mic. He's going to do a documentary on bad luck. And somehow out of it, Punishment got a video with uh, Showtime porn star as the main character in a video. And we really didn't want any of that. We took him to Erie, Pennsylvania, and he tried to swallow a shit ton of weed because we got pulled over by the cops. It was a really interesting thing and something that we got because bad luck was like, oh, yeah, they're our boys. So we did this crazy video. That's how we're going to leave you. Bad Luck 13, the original lineup, Dennison and Jermaine's birthday, and all of you being in the room is the coolest shit ever. This is rising. Go off for this. Stick around because you'll never see a Bad Luck show like this ever again. Yo, Brown. Brown, it was a week. All right, listen, this is Dennis's birthday. Move up, he wants everybody inward, he, he hates this. He and Sonny hate this donut. 
So for Dennis, move it the fuck up until you start moshing. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for the love. Thank you for bringing your kids. And thank you for supporting Philadelphia Hardcore for all these years. Yeah! 